Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It's time for weather with Ivan. It's currently 30 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 35, and at 3, it's going to be 42. Still a little bit cold, but tomorrow's going to be warmer. Uh, it's going to be partly cloudy until 4. At 4, it's going to be sunny. Congratulations to Nate Wark, who was the first person to get my location right. I was in Sydney, Australia. You'll get your prize soon. Now back to the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Ivan. Seniors, tomorrow is the day your cap and gown and graduation orders will be available for pickup during lunch. The FHS Theater presents Bye Bye Birdie the Musical, Wednesday, April 25th, Friday the 27th, and Saturday the 28th. The show starts at 7 p.m. and tickets cost $8 for adults and $5 for K-12. through Come check out a great family-friendly show. The Clinton County College and Career Fair is tomorrow from 5.30 to 7 at the fairgrounds. Colleges in attendance include IUK, IUPUI Kelly School of Business, Manchester, and Anderson College. There will be a Best Buddies fundraiser at Dairy Queen tomorrow night from 4 to 9. 15% of all sales will go towards Best Buddies. In order to purchase prom tickets, each student must have a signed permission slip. Remember that tickets are $20 this week only and will return to the price of $25 next Monday. The Industrial Pallet Corporation is hiring. No necessary experience is required. You must be 18 years of age and be able to pass a drug test. Now time for Nick with sports. There are no scores to report from yesterday, but a few teams will be playing tonight. The girls varsity tennis team will be traveling to West Lafayette to take on the Red Devils at 5 o'clock tonight. The girls varsity softball team will be hosting the Lebanon Tigers tonight at 5.30 p.m. And finally, the boys' varsity baseball team will also be hosting Lebanon tonight, but this one is at 6 o'clock. That's it for sports. Now to Ask Dallas. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ask Dallas, and I'd like to introduce the return of Mr. Colton Crumb, the phenomenal one. <laughs> so are you going to be interviewing me today, or? I think you know how this works. Okay, let's go ahead and get started then, Dallas. All right, first question here. If you had to get rid of soccer, sushi, or steak, what would it be and why? Sushi, because the reason being why, because I had a horrible experience with my, with my uh, sister when she took me out for sushi, and I've had a sour taste in my mouth that for it ever since. Dallas, who did you want to win what, WrestleMania 34? Main events. Yes. Well, I wanted Roman and Shinsuke to win, but Roman got the crap kicked out of him by Brock Lesnar himself. Mm. The part-timer who has no idea what he's doing. And, mm. AJ, and AJ and Shinsuke had a good match. A great match. But... I assume you just got a beep on your phone. I did. I did. It was telling you that the, the segment was over. <laughs> Segment's not over. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I didn't. It's my ringer. AJ Styles retained over Shinsuke Nakamura, which kind of made me mad, but I. it was a great match. But Shinsuke ended up low-blowing uh, AJ Styles. You know what I want to see? What? Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor in there. Conor McGregor would not be a good instance. Ever Why since, not? Ever since the trash can incident. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think that would be perfect for the WWE. You, you can't tell me that that wouldn't be awesome. You would honestly want a trash can thrown at you? I wouldn't, but maybe the WWE wrestlers. Maybe Brock Lesnar wants that. He's too aggressive. Uh, this has been an Ask Dallas segment. And an Ask Dallas production. Thank you, and see you tomorrow.
I'm sorry to say, but there will be school on Friday, April 20th. That is a snow makeup day. Mr. Payton's community is to report to Mrs. Woodard's room, room 151, for community today. That's all for the daily announcements. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. This has been a, um, where's the text, anyone, okay, anyway, it's been a no text production.